What you see on the screen is the manual seismic well tie that took over 3 hours to complete. Machine learning implementation takes about 12 minutes and produces a reasonable result that is more stable than the manual approach. Today I will go over 3 papers about the seismic to well tie that caught my attention. They show advanced quality and speed when compared with manual and analytical methods. What is interesting is that all of them try to tackle the problem from different angle, and that is why they are on the list. But first, a quick note from Geoplot. Geoplot AI is a commercial product that offers AI-powered geoscience software. It is essentially a machine learning toolbox giving you the tools you need to make better, faster decisions on your project. Within our R&D team, we are also working on Seismic to Well Tie, and we are planning to release these and other features to our users. If you want to be one of our users, then give it a try at the link below. My name is Ruslan, and you are on a channel dedicated to teaching about machine learning in oil and gas. And the first paper that I want to cover today is titled Improve Seismic Well Tie by Integrating Variable Size Window Resampling with Well Tie Net by Hao Wu and co-authors. Here are the results of the proposed method on a real dataset and a comparison with DTW. Zooming in on the method shows a good match between the real and synthetic seismograms. In contrast, the DTW alignment results with several overstretched parts that are shown by green arrows. Note that all the DTW shifted the start of the synthetic trace as well. The proposed method's time the function is smooth and doesn't change quickly. They achieved this using two-step method. In the first step, subsurface velocity is simulated. Using seismic data and well logs, they extract constant wavelength and generate synthetic seismograms using formation markers. Then they divide the seismograms into the segments. Then by stretching or compressing the segments, they produce numerous resampled synthetic seismograms. In the second step, they train an unsupervised segmentation network. Here we have an input resampled seismograms and an output formation class. Once trained, it constructs a relation that maps real seismograms to the synthetic seismogram labels, so that we can align the two. Let's see how the proposed method works on a real well from a free block seismic data. Synthetic seismogram computed with the initial time the function doesn't match a real seismogram. The alignment using the proposed method is very good. The DTW results differ significantly from the original synthetic seismogram. And as author stated, the suggested algorithm not only produces high correlation alignment results, but also prevents overstretching. And the most important part for me is that the method does not require the manual interpreted labels. It uses the resampled synthetic seismograms and the associated formation labels as the training data set. If you like the content, then like this video so that it reaches more people. Here is the other paper that got many attention from the industry. The paper called Partial Automation of the Seismic to Well Tie with Deep Learning and Bayesian Optimization by Valentin Shannon and co-authors. The authors compared the proposed ML method to manual alignment that is done in a commercial software. The manual seismic well tie took over 3 hours, because it takes time to fine-tune the parameters, like the position of extracted window, well log despiking, wavelet smoothing and shifting the time depth table. And machine learning implementation on a laptop takes 12 minutes and produces a more stable result than a manual approach. Let's see how they could achieve these results. The proposed method consists of three essential parts. They train the network for wavelet extraction, because seismic and well logs are noisy, and the source wavelet has limited frequency support, making such method as deconvolution unstable. And for those who are interested, they use a convolutional variational autoencoder that takes 1D seismic and reflection data and output a wavelet as a prediction. Note here that instead of a deterministic estimate, they use a variational formulation and provides wavelet spectrum uncertainties. Now, let's talk about the second part, the Bayesian optimization that finds the best parameters for seismic to well alignment. For method details, see the paper. Following optimization algorithm, they define a simple four-dimensional parameter space for the while loop. The first are the spiking window and threshold. 
The third parameter is the Gaussian smoothing kernel standard deviation. And the final one is the time to death bulk shift. And here, the network computes the extracted wavelet. The optimization objective is to minimize the difference between the synthetic and real seismic. Note here, this process does not account for nonlinear shifting. It moves all the points on a constant value all at once. Stretch and squeeze method introduces nonlinearity in the time depth table. And here is the result. They demonstrate the method on two challenging real data applications, a Poseidon field well tie and a press stack well tie on Wolf dataset. Here are results for the well Tarossa. As we see, the optimized tie fits the predicted synthetic seismic and real trace better, and a wavelet has a more realistic phase. The overall compute time is about 3 minutes on a modern computer. They also showed encouraging result on pre-stack well tie on the Valve dataset in this paper. If you are interested in learning more about it, then refer to the paper. The source code for this work was also provided by the authors. They give you the tools to create synthetic dataset, train a wavelet extraction algorithm. Let me know in the comments if you think I should develop a UI and integrate this repo to e framework so that you can use it on your project. And the last paper that I want to share with you here today, and it's the most recent one, the paper titled Unsupervised Learning for Automated Seismic Well Tie by Hai Bin Zi and his co-authors. We can see the result of this method on the F3 dataset as well. Analytical alignment, the method produced a 60% coefficient, while the proposed method resulted in 87% match. Let's see how they manage this performance. The overall workflow is shown here, and it consists of three components. Data preparation for machine learning, training, and inference. Here they use data from well logs and convert them to time using check shots or VSP. Using the convolutional model, they introduce random time shift curves and then synthesize the tweaked synthetic seismograms. Let's now take a look at the ML training. The generated seismograms are then used to train a 1D flow net, which learns from pairs of original and shifted seismograms and aim to estimate the time shift. Once trained, we should now follow the inference track. The synthetic seismogram from the original time depth function and the real seismic trace are fed into the network, which estimates the time shift required for the revising the time depth relation to achieve optimal alignment. Here are the results on a free dataset. As previously stated, there is a clear mismatch between a real seismic trace and the synthetic seismogram, with the Pearson coefficient of only 5%. The proposed workflow in this paper causes minor changes to the time depth function but successfully raises the synthetic seismogram, ensuring that major seismic events are well aligned. As a result, the Pearson correlation coefficient has increased to 87%. In comparison, the traditional dynamic time warping scheme is applied to the same well and the updated seismogram is only 61% correlated. After we have a reliable seismic to well tie using one of the methods presented here today, then we are well equipped and ready to jump into the seismic inversion. Here you'll find information about AI-based seismic impedance inversion, and I will show how advanced neural network architecture gives better results than model-based inversion.